You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club, and we have a health and wellness expert in the building. Goes by the name of A.D. Dolphin. What's what up, up, my brother? Hey, I'm good. People are all uh, on their health kicks nowadays. Yes. Right. So they love talking to people like you. <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter just tweet me and said they're doing your detox right now and they don't know what's coming out of their body. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> somebody just tweeted yeah, me and said that to me. bad thing. Hey, look, it's a great thing, actually. Okay. You got to remember, uh, we can, you can hold up to 25 pounds of undigested food within your system. So it's very, very important to help get that out. Right. I did a detox uh, two weeks ago. It was about okay. two weeks ago, right? Yeah, about two weeks ago. It was a seven-day detox. And um, I got... It was 13 pounds in six days. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm on um, I'm on another one with my wife. My wife wanted to do it. Now, okay. So I told her I would help her along. She's not going, she's not doing too well. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's not doing well. Let's be clear. It is a detox. Yeah. So. Yeah. What kind of diet did you have with it? That's what I really want to know. Well, uh, the diet, well, this one that she's doing is uh, is a 30-day detox. Okay. Only uh, water fruits and water-based fruits. Okay. Um, and water. And water. That for 30 a lot days. of water. And she's taking supplements. So it's as fruits well. and vegetables, supplements, and vegetables. the whole supplements. nine. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Positive. I'm that, with that. That's hard though because you're talking to a lady. I'm talking about my wife who she's a eater, but she doesn't gain any weight. Like she can eat that's like beautiful. a pig and does not gain weight. <laughs> she so, can have babies and not gain weight. Yeah, by the so, way. So for her, not eating chicken, steak, right, things like that that she usually eats right. is killing her. But you know, our body needs a break. I tell her that. And we, we need try. a break. This mine is only day two. <laughs> and that's interesting because I did the first I did the 14 day detox I know before Envy did I do his. my research too yeah I did this 14 day detox and a lot of people were like detoxes are dangerous why would you do that it's not a good idea to not eat but it is because your body needs a break listen they don't know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and it's a lot of people running around here that, <laughs> that really just don't know what they're talking about cleansing is healthy for your body you know they talk about detoxing in the bible they talk about it everywhere. Into the, so mic, into the mic so they can hear you. Okay. Mm -hmm. They talk about detoxing in the Bible. Cleaning out your system is completely natural. Your body needs to time out. And just moving away, we got to remember all the processed food that we're eating. Mm -hmm. Think about the things that's in the air as far as pollution. Think about the things that we put on our skin as far as lotion, perfume. All these things detox. I mean, all these things contaminate our body. And we need to learn how to get rid of it. I still use lotion, though. <laughs> <stop doing> it. <laughs> what, what makes you a health and wellness expert? Because you you don't come from a family of health and wellness experts. Not at all. I come from a family of business people. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I was kind of thrown into it, Charlemagne. So um, I, when I first took on this venture, I, I was just looking for a business opportunity, to be honest, 14 years ago. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as you dive into something good, it becomes your life. And, mm -hmm. that's, and that's what happened for me. So you said you was looking at the, hus the hustle people out their money. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so what made you actually fall in love with uh, exercise? You know what it is? Uh, detoxing not, the stuff. Well, well, what it was, how I felt. Gotcha. My first cleanse I ever did, I absolutely loved it. I got an addictive personality, so I began doing every cleanse I can get my hands on. What was the first cleanse? Yeah, what was the first cleanse? It was one of, uh, you know, I can't really remember the name of it, nor will I give them credit on this show. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what was it? Was it a seven-day, 10-day, 30-day? No, it was actually, it was a 21-day cleanse. Um, I did it. My girlfriend had introduced it, introduced it to me at the time. I loved it. I began doing other cleanses. I said, you know what? I like this so much. It's something here. I met a couple of herbalists, put together an herbal team, and I be and that's where it began 14 years ago for me and my brother. What's, What's your it? favorite kind of cleanse? My favorite kind of cleanse is my cleanse. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so it's the D Herbs Full Body Cleanse. So our cleanse is gonna clean out all your major limitative channels. That's your gallbladder, your heart, your liver, your colon, your spleen, your lungs, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your blood, and your skin. It's gonna flush out all the impurities in those particular areas of your body. Along with that, you got to have a diet. And that's why I asked you about your situation. Mm -hmm. says, look, the diet that we want you to eat is fresh fruits, vegetables, raw nuts, and raw seeds. Everybody's going to ask me, why? Mm -hmm. Why that? And the reason why you want to do something like that is because we are natural vegetarians, people. Listen, we're not supposed to eat meat. We're natural vegetarians. They can tell by the design of our teeth what's going on with us. Now, man has been eating meat for hundreds of years now, but that doesn't mean it's good for you. When you eat this way... And you clean yourself out, the way that you feel is actually the way you're supposed to feel every single day. What about fish? Huh? You know what, fish, I'm not super opposed to fish. The thing that's wrong with fish is the water mm. that it's swimming in. And it's the mercury. It's all that kind of stuff. So it just, it, it begins to change. You know, we're not eating the same foods our grandparents used to eat. 
our great grandparents. You remember they used to live till they was ninety something, a yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. something. We live until sixty something. We supposed to live until we are hundred and twenty. We're living half that and happy about it. And something got to change. The American diet is all messed up. Mm-hmm. So, so, so you're saying, of course, you're vegetarian. So you don't eat meat at all. Not at all. Are I'm you a vegan. vegan. I'm okay. a vegan. Now, what about vagina? Uh, occasionally. Okay. Occasionally. <laughs> got you. Got you. Now, <laughs> how, how bad is meat for people? Because people don't understand. Because you know, some doctors say you should eat meat. Some people say you shouldn't eat meat. Then what? The health came out, and then everybody was against meat for a week. I so. don't know why there's a reason that you should eat meat. Because all the benefits that they say you can get, you can protein. get from other. You can get protein you know, from pro- other things. Well. You got to remember the, the things that they're saying that they first are first of all it's protein in every single thing that we eat. Right. You can So let's them. let's understand that. And on the flip side of that, the animals that they're saying they're getting protein from are vegetarian. There you go. So and then also the biggest animals in the world are what? The gorilla, the elephant, Rhino. the strongest al- right. animals. They're all vegetarians. Right. You guys, look, we might be actually we might be all super powerful if we ate a certain way. We might be, you know, f- f- certain foods Certain meats and things like that, that might be actually our kryptonite. They mm-hmm. cause cancer. Huh? They cause all For kinds sure. of illnesses, high For blood sure. pressure, diabetes. That's listen. Just think about the just think about like pets nowadays. We got pets running around with arthritis. We got pets running around with diabetes. It's the processed foods. It's definitely playing a role. We gotta change our diets. That's why when like you go out of the country, like you go to the Caribbean, all the food to me tastes fresher. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I love eating goat in the Caribbean because all you see is goats on an island like Angola, so that tastes good. The fish comes right out the ocean. Right. Like, I, I I think if it's coming right from the earth like that and it's not contaminated, I don't think it's bad. Well, I I think, like I said, the elephant ain't going to make the mistake and eat a burger. So we just got to kind of understand that we are natural vegetarians. Right. Now, I'm not saying that you can't indulge from time to time. That would be ridiculous. Every we all got to live, but we just got to understand we are natural vegetarians. And like I said, the foods that we may be eating might just be our kryptonite. And what is your normal food regimen throughout the day? So when you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do, lunch, dinner, for people who say, okay, I want to start this way? Right. So first thing I do, I always have a smoothie. Mm-hmm. I have a smoothie. That's how I start my day. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I always start off smoothie? Uh, huh? strawberries, blueberries, bananas, mm-hmm. things along those lines. Right. Mm-hmm. And then lunchtime? Lunchtime, I might have a salad. Do you eat every three hours or? No, I don't. I don't really. I'm my schedule is a little crazy. I'm sure you guys kind of understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So I I do my best. I yeah. do my best. Lunch, do you have protein in that meal? You have meat in it, or is it all vegetables in that it's, salad? It's, it's all. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah I'm bugging you. Yeah. It's it's um <laughs> all vegetables. It might it's just a straight salad, and then at night I might go to certain restaurants in L. A. Like it's, it's a nice restaurant called Crossroads out there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a, a vegan spot. It's it's awesome. It's amazing. So you got me sitting there thinking, man. I think the problem is we not eating the strong animals. What? So you, <laughs> so you might need to be eating the gorilla. <laughs> you might need to be eating the <laughs> elephant. <laughs> the rhino. I'm serious. Instead of eating what they eat to get as strong as they are. We don't know. It might be that I'm sure it's got to be genetic. So we just not built to be as big as gorillas or big as elephants or whatever. Maybe we eating the wrong animals. But you want to eat a gorilla. You never know. <laughs> you are what you eat, right? You never know. My goodness. I find that when I see people who used to eat meat and they stop eating meat, you can see that they look younger, their skin looks better. Yeah, but they look terrible at first. <laughs> they do. <laughs> look at Russell. Russell look amazing right yeah, now. Yeah, now. <laughs> but, but when we first started. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let, what's the started? difference between a detox, a fast, and a cleanse? Okay, a fast you're not eating. Uh, so that I did a fast. But I could have I water. I struggle with a fast. I had water and coconut water and herbal supplements, and that was it. But I couldn't have any solid foods, no smoothies, nothing. I think those are great for a small amount of time. 14 days. 14 days. For me, personally, that might be a little bit long. But I, I'm, it's 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 a little long. I think we're supposed to eat. You got to remember when you eat, your body releases certain enzymes. Mm-hmm. helps you break down food and things like that. That's how you know it's completely natural. Now, you said uh, for your cleanse that you, you, you still allow people to eat food, but all the food's got to be raw. Right. Define raw. raw. So raw is uncooked. Mm-hmm. You got to remember, we tend to un- we tend to overcook our food. Uncooked what? So like sushi? Uh-huh. No. No, no. Like, like carrots. Instead like of carrots. having cooked yeah, carrots, uncooked. you have raw carrots. Okay, okay. Uncooked. Got you, got you, got you. So you're eating not like, like a salad kale, is considered raw. Oh, okay. A smoothie is considered raw. You know, the, things along those lines. So what's the difference between a cleanse and a detox? Because I I don't really quite know the difference. Well, that's a great question. Um, So when people talk about detox, a lot of times they're talking about, you know, they was on some kind of drug program. They're trying to get those kind of things out of their body a lot of the time. A cleanse is a new word that people came up with. It just 
it, it kind of, detox and cleanse are kind of mm-hmm. kind of like the same thing. Now, some people do have an adverse reaction at first when they start doing you the can, cleanse. But it's like not- they, like um, Envy's wife is doing it, and she's having migraines. I had a friend who was doing it, and she actually had a really bad reaction where she was uh, throwing up, and she had the chills, and got, it was like a detox. I've seen all of that. So usually when people have migraines and things along those lines, maybe they're, they're um, strong on coffee, Coke, and things like that because you can get a, a caffeine headache. So it depends on your system. A lot of times we're having adverse effects because of the history of what's going on with us. Our eating history, that's what's causing it. Now, as far as people throwing up and things along those lines, I've seen that too. Those are the people, to be honest, that need to detox. Mm-hmm. Throwing up is not necessarily a bad thing. Right. That means your body is actually, your eliminative channels are working. Now your body's saying, look, whatever's in my system, I'm going to begin to throw up. And it's not just the food that they just ate or the capsules they do, that they just ate. A lot of times it's the mucus that eventually comes out when they are throwing up. They might they may throw up six, seven, eight times. And next thing you know, you see all that mucus coming out. Now, that's a tough conversation for for them to have mm-hmm. when it's happening, but it's actually healthy for them. What about Should pooping? they continue? Huh? Should... What about pooping? Yeah, it's natural. A lot of times, look, if you eat three meals a day, you're supposed to have three bowel movements a day. Yeah. Right. If you're not having three bowel movements a day, you're constipated to some degree. And constipation is the number one reason why we have so many obese people in the United States. Mm-hmm. That's it. We're, we're eating more than we're actually releasing. You I'm know, it's funny regular. that you said that because my wife used to drink a lot of soda. Right. That's probably where those headaches are coming mm-hmm. from because it, that, them caffeine headaches, they, they stole down on the third day. She doesn't have any Yeah, it, w- it won't continue throughout the cleanse. Three or four days is usually over with and you back on page. I was reading about your cleanse and I know that if people are having a bad reaction, you can modify it because it really is tailored to every person to, and right. every person's different, what they need, what their body requires and what they can handle at right. a time. So a lot of times at my company, if you call, the person that picks up the phone did the cleanse. Mm-hmm. Period. So they usually, a lot of times, they had some of those similar experiences, and they can walk them through it. So, so if someone is throwing up and, and having these kind of adverse effect, which only happens to about one percent of the people, we just tailor down the capsules, and they'll be fine. And we'll walk them through, and we'll call them the next day, see how they're doing, and make sure they have a positive cleanse. Well, the, the biggest problem I think is after people do the detox, is like you know Absolutely. they don't they don't know how to maintain that lifestyle. Man, you know what the detox. It's supposed to help change your lifestyle. It's the beginning process of that. And that's everybody everybody uses the cleanse as like a weight loss tool, which is great. Okay, good. You help me sell more cleanses. But it's really not for that. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to help you, it's supposed to help you change your lifestyle. So you're supposed to have clearer skin, stronger immune system, mm-hmm. be able to focus and concentrate a lot better, uh, be able to sleep better. So a lot of wonderful things are supposed to be able to happen to you, but you got to stay on that path. Mm-hmm. Now, that good feeling that you're feeling, as you eat the worse and worse you eat, that feeling begins to go away. So therefore, you got to stay on the path. And once that dwindles to a certain point, okay, that means that's your body saying, hey, I need to cleanse again. Mm-hmm. And you just got to pay attention to it. How often should you cleanse? Okay, I would say once you do, once you cleanse and you got that good feeling, mm-hmm. then that tells you when you need to do it again. So once that feeling begins to dwindle, like we mentioned just a second ago, then that's when you need to do it again. The problem that, with, with cleansing is, like Charlamagne said, that's the main thing. Like, you know, when you do it, when I did the first seven, it was easy, right? Mm-hmm. Boom, lost 13 pounds. I felt great. Right. But then I flew, I had to do a, a show in South Africa, flew right. to South Africa. And not to mention that very same night, I heard you went out and had some lobster. No, I didn't have lobster. I, I, I didn't go there. What's wrong with lobster? <laughs> I didn't go to lobster. But the problem was, is now when you travel a lot, it's hard to find these restaurants and everything is social. So, the, you know, I, I came back and I, and I gained uh, six pounds just eating. You but can you always know, find meat and vegetables, though. That's true. Salads. But you know what you I would say? No meat. But you know what I say that uh, to uh, DJ Envy? I would say, look, it's supposed to be hard. It's mm-hmm. hard to be great. Yeah. It's hard to be great. It's hard to be on, you know, the Breakfast Club. So that's what I'm saying. No, I'm just telling no, you the truth. Not. It's really it, not, though. It, it ain't, it ain't <laughs> hard. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, what I'm just saying is, look, we're supposed to live until we're 120. I'm trying to be here as long as I can. I want to see my great grandkids. So therefore, it, like I said, you gotta put forth the effort. If right. you do that, it's gonna benefit you. Mm-hmm. You you can feel it though, like um, you know, because I, I I do cleanses through Dr. Natasha Sandy often. But you know, like you said, you know when it's time to do right. another one. Like, Absolutely. I, I haven't done one yet this year. I think it's time for me to do no, one. Hey, I brought everybody in here a cleanse, mm-hmm. and DJ Envy, I brought your wife a cleanse, mm-hmm. too, so you guys can jump on it, so you guys can start it. 
I give you guys my number. Anytime y'all have an issue, a problem, anything, just call me. Is uh, it healthy to lose 30, because your, your cleanse allows people to lose 10 to 30 pounds in 21 days. Is it healthy to lose all that weight in that short amount of time? For sure. You, you, you're you losing it naturally. You're not mm-hmm. starving yourself. You can eat as many fresh fruits and vegetables as your heart desires. So you can eat as much as you want. We got you drinking your, uh, as much water as you want. So it's completely natural. It's just your body realizing, hey, I'm finally doing something right. Mm-hmm. And your body responded to it, and now it's ridding yourself of all that waste. It probably depends on how much you weigh to begin with, too. Because if I lost 30 pounds, that wouldn't be a good thing for me. But but you know what? Your body has its own intelligence. Right. Your, your body is not going to lose 30 pounds. Exactly, because I know we could do the same exact detox. There and you Somebody go. will lose a lot more weight than I will. For sure. Mm-hmm. It depends on how much weight you have. But I meant to ask with the water. How important is water in the different types of water? Is, is spring water better than... This one, like, or is there, or what, is just water's water? What? Nah, water ain't water, unfortunately, because our planet has been contaminated. Mm-hmm. So there's different levels of water, and you know the big water that everyone's drinking. Alkaline. Alkaline water. Now he he's drinking. I don't know if I can mention the name, so Fuji. I won't. Yeah, Fuji. Okay, Fuji. Fuji. He's Fuji. drinking Fuji, Fiji water. <laughs> so that's naturally alkaline, and it's great because of that water is alkaline through minerals. A lot of times, people are drinking water that's been electrocuted, which gives you this fake alkalinity. Mm. You know what I mean? So when they measure the alkalinity of the water, it's that number at that moment. That particular water is going to stay that number from 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 beginning to, from the beginning is putting that bottle to the time you drink it. So that's alkaline through mineral. Now, the how much water that you should drink is based on your body weight. Mm-hmm. So um, I would tell people, you take your body weight. If you weigh 100 pounds, you're supposed to drink 50 ounces of water a day. So a lot of times people think they're supposed to drink a gallon. Nah, it's actually based upon your body, your body weight. Now, how expensive is this cleanse? Because I know that's one thing people talk about. Oh, I can't wow. afford to do it. And it's an expensive thing to do. That's what people have in their head. So yeah. let's talk about that. Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, People always talk about expense. But first of all, if their life was on the line, we wouldn't be talking about it. Another thing is a lot of times the people who are talking about it, they're wearing Jordans. They're wearing <laughs> red bottoms. That's a fact. They got, they, got, they, got, uh, they got all the nice bags. So what's important? Mm-hmm. So what's important? Is your health important? Is being on this planet important? That's that's the real question here. But there are some people that really are financially strapped that have kids that they have to take care of that, you know, for them, they would love to do it. But priority wise, I think, their money has to go. And even for that kind of a situation, the more the healthier you eat, the less you got to go to the doctor, the less medication you're going to have to pay for. So ultimately, in the end, it's going to be to your benefit. Now, eating fresh and fruits and vegetables, I don't think it's that expensive mm-hmm. it you, is but when you organically when you, it does definitely yeah, organically probably but another thing is you got to remember like that that meal that costs five dollars <laughs> is not is not gonna it's not gonna be enough for you anyway mm-hmm. it's just not gonna be enough for you if you eat one of those meals what happens is your body's gonna alert you an hour later saying look there was no nutrition in there you need to try this all over again all right, what are some things that can happen to you when you're on the cleanse that people call up about? Because we already talked about people throwing up. We talked about people having migraines. What are some Headaches. other side effects that could happen? Okay, you want me to talk about the good ones or the bad ones? Both. Okay, so so the good ones that we kind of already mentioned, more energy. Mm-hmm. So you're going to feel like you're 12 years old all over again. Um, you're talking about um, uh, being able to focus and concentrate a lot better. Uh, a huge, uh, clearer skin. Um it's a lot of wonderful things. Now, as far as some of the things that are people consider bad is growing up is probably the worst one. Mm-hmm. But like I said, it's not necessarily a bad Sweating thing. A lot. So that don't Sweating. mean your body's rejecting something? Nah, not. I think it's your body is now realizing that it's about to get all this mucus out of its system. Mm-hmm. And that's just one way of doing it. I looked at it like it was a detox, like when people. What are you doing, Envy? I, don't know what's I, looked, at, I looked at it like it. Jesus Christ, Envy. Envy, what is wrong stop. with you? <laughs> All right, there we go. It wouldn't stop. I look at it like it's a real detox, <laughs> like when people are on drugs and they have to go to the hospital and get things out of their body that aren't good for them, and then they start throwing up and, and having shaking. the chills mm-hmm. and shaking. I didn't know if it was a similar thing. Mm, it, it can be similar for some certain people. I have never had that personal experience. I've definitely heard of people having those mm-hmm. experiences. Like I said, we tailor down the capsules. We get you on the right path. And it has to do with your history. What about discharge? That was one thing they told me could potentially happen. They For were like, sure. you might have some greenish discharge. Out your butt? <laughs> no. Oh. 
<laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible because you got to remember, Scott, women man. have that sixth <laughs> channel of elimination, which is the vagina. So therefore, you can have discharge. But that's the, also the reason why women live longer than men, because you do have that sixth channel. Mm -hmm. Bad breath? Can happen. I had bad breath for three days last week. Well, you had that, you had that anyway. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I know somebody that's been detoxing for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> you're also not supposed to have sex, right, when no you're sex. doing a detox? Well, you're, that's the exchange of fluids. Mm -hmm. So that's what that's about. Yeah. What do you mean? Like you can't, your fluids are well, toxic or something? Well, that person's not cleansing. Okay. Unless that person, well, you got to oh, remember. Oh, so I don't want someone's nasty meat toxins in me or something? No, you got to remember. So when you are cleansing, <laughs> <laughs> when you are cleansing, all the bad stuff is trying to get out. It's mm -hmm. going to get out of every orifice on your body. And having sex is one of them. Okay. Mm. Think what else How important is it to, to adhere to that part? Huh? How important? Barry, I didn't have Do sex. Do your for, best, Angela. No, I, I didn't have sex for uh, <laughs> mine. I didn't have sex for seven days. I was scared that I was going to release toxins. You know what I'm going to I was talking to the cameraman <laughs> earlier. Cold showers. Okay. Are cold showers important? Cold shower. I'm going to tell you the truth. Well, you're not having sex, so. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Cold shower. You talking about like closing your pores and things like that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the cleanse, it's not, it's not something that we bring up the importance of. Mm hmm. What are some of the daily things that people can do? Daily things? Like, like say say you can't commit to a whole detox, but you just want to do something daily. Absolutely. You know what I would do? It's similar to what me and Angela do. Um, I would have a, a, a fruit smoothie in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, pick up, especially if you've done the cleanse or done cleansing. That's, did you pick up that? Did you always do that? No, or this did is you my... do it after you started we cleansing? We own a juice bar. No, I, yeah, I own a juice bar. We own a juice bar. Oh, yeah, we own a juice bar. And so, but the reason why I wanted to do a juice bar was because I juice every single morning. Okay. And it's actually one of the ways that I make sure that I'm very even. You know, a lot of things will like have you spike up in the morning right. and then come right back down. But the juices are really good for me because it, it keeps me very even. Okay. And it also doesn't have me too full. So it's not like I get exhausted afterward. It actually gives me more energy. So I already was doing that. And then that was my first ever detox that I did right after. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what's up. But yeah, so just eating healthy. I also sort of say just find something that you can do every single day and see if it improves upon your health. Yeah, you know what I do? I do a, I, I try to do a, a protein shake for breakfast. Okay. And if I don't do that, I do three egg whites. But for lunch, I may have a salad. But if okay. I don't, I have another protein shake, and then I have dinner. Okay, what kind of protein we take? Um, I do whey protein. So whey protein is basically a meat-based protein. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if I were you, I would maybe shift it towards more of a pea protein, mm -hmm. uh, some kind of uh, vegan type vegan of protein, yes. uh, hemp protein, things along that. It's a little bit healthier for you. What about weed? Huh? Oh, I, no, said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, I smell it on you, <laughs> AD. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Um, you know, as far as what's your question you said, about weed? Can that be part of the diet? Can be, can be, part of the diet? Can be, that's not going to necessarily be part of your diet. Okay. Nah, nah, I, I would definitely. Plus it makes you hungry. Yeah, I, there you go. It's gonna make you help make other bad decisions. I would, uh, you know, I would kind of move away from it. Got what you. are some of the best success stories that you've had that stick out in your head? Wow, you know what? The, our best success story we ever had is that um, we had a preacher who we, he was two hundred, no, three hundred and fifty-five pounds. Uh, oh. He was he was basically on it on his deathbed, and he had a situation where his wife needed a kidney. And he wanted to be he wanted to be mm. uh, a hero but he for had her. To lose weight. But he had to lose weight. Mm -hmm. So he had to lose weight. So he came to us and asked us, could we help him? We helped him lose 150 pounds Amazing. in wow. six months. So wow. we helped him lose 160 pounds in six months. And That's now amazing. now he got a chance to take that test. And that was really, really important for him. He got a chance to be his wife's hero. So that was super, super important for him. So that was one of the best things. I've ever done um, was in my life. Oh, so you can't even give up your kidney if you fat? No, nah, you can't. Was Because wow. you're going to jeopardize yourself. Yeah, was he able to give it to her? He wasn't, he wasn't a match for her. Oh, Unfortunately, yeah. he wasn't a match. But the fact that he was, he, he, was commit, dedicated. He, he committed to that process was amazing because it's funny how God introduced certain things into our life mm -hmm. because he was attempting to save her life, but actually he was saving it's his right. own. Mm, God works in mysterious ways. There you go. You used to play ball too, right? Yes. How, what would you recommend to athletes? Because the only person I see that's kind of working for is Cap, Kaepernick. You know, he's, he's a vegetarian. <laughs> and he looks good. You know what I'm right. saying? He looks strong. He looks healthy. Like, what would you recommend to athletes? Uh, change your diet. Change your diet. Stay out these clubs and stop drinking so much. Mm -hmm. 
That's what that's what I would tell them in a minute. So they could do these detoxes and still like keep up that health, like that athletic lifestyle. Absolutely, it's 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 about to change. You know what? The world is it's everything's changing because at least in L.A. you kind of see it more on the front forefront, yeah. and probably New York in New too. York, yeah. And you're gonna see more vegan restaurants popping up. You're gonna see more vegetarian restaurants popping up. You're gonna see more vegan athletes popping up. It's gonna it's gonna happen more and more as as we get more and more information. I don't be trusting that either though, man. They put vegan on everything. Vegan banana cream pie, right. vegan mm. hamburgers, vegan I'm with French you. fry. Like what I'm are y'all talking you. about? Gluten free everything. So I'm with you on. But we all don't of have that. to be gluten free unless you have an allergy. Right. But you gotta remember you gotta remember the reason why that's happening is because the world is changing and that just makes that makes you have to be a little bit smarter mm-hmm. to be able to read those labels to be able to dissect that mm-hmm. information so it's really it's really I don't understand what you mean is bad but it's really good because it's going to put you on your toes ain't no vegan fried chicken bro <laughs> like you lying like people lying well, to me when I see that you can't you seen vegan, vegan fried bro they got vegan everything they be like oh that's vegan you're like huh how <laughs> vegan cheesecake <laughs> We do have vegan a, tacos. We do have vegan rum cake at the juice bar and vegan cookies. I, I got to go to the juice bar. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Well, we appreciate you joining us. And, and if people want to uh, start your detox plan, how can they get in touch with you and start your stuff? Wow. Um, you can find us at, uh, first of all, they can call us at 866-434-3727. Mm-hmm. Or they can go to our website, D-H-E-R-B-S, D-Herbs.com, the letter D, the word herbs, all one word, dot com. And the cleanse that they want to look for on there is the full body cleanse. How now long you, is that for? It's for 20 days. 20 days. All right. I, I, you know, I like doing cleanses now. So I'm I got, gonna, I got I'm gonna one for you guys. On. I got one for you guys. Now, you work with Steve Harvey. How'd you hook up with Steve Harvey for you? Man, you um, first of all, I advertise on his radio show a lot. And before I, they, he let me come on and advertise on the radio, he called me mm-hmm. and said, man, are you the real deal? Because I ain't going to let you on if you're not. Mm. And I said, no, I'm the real deal. He said, send me a cleanse. I sent him a cleanse. He had an amazing experience, and he said, come on. He let me come on the show. He let me do interviews on the show. That's my man right there. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something. The first thing I'll tell y'all about Steve Harvey, he the truth. He kind of remind me of Charlemagne Mm -hmm. a lot. That's my OG. Because if he don't like it, he Mm -hmm. say, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. And if he like it, he say, I like it. And I respect that because you always know where he coming from. Mm -hmm. I love Steve. That's my guy. He's a good good dude. He gets a... he gets a lot of flack for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? Like, he, Cause he honest. Yeah. He honest. Like I said, if he don't like it, he say I don't like it. And people sometimes people don't know how to deal with that. But that guy is one hundred percent. And he does so much for the for for us as black people. Man, like he didn't do so much for me. <laughs> I love Steve. I'm telling y'all right now, Steve is my guy. But if you a real dude, you gonna really like Steve. Absolutely. If you if you got some issues or you got something going on with you and you can't deal with the truth and you can't face it, that head detox on, won't work. For then, you. Then he he not he, he not gonna be for you. But you ever, that's my guy. You ever read a book called Soul of the Superior Man? No, I haven't read that one. You should read that book. I just was reading the chapter last night and talked about how men should be able to take criticism from their male friends. Man. And that's how that's the type of person Steve is. Like you say every every week you should get with your guys right. and have real honest conversation Man. about each other. Absolutely. Shoot. I, I I totally believe in that. Like I said, Steve, that's my guy. One hundred percent. That's what it is. All right. A D Dolphin. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.